another video here, uh, getting some work done on the Lexus. Uh, I left off uh, getting the paint done and uh, bashing the front in. So what I'm going to do next is get the front fenders tossed back on and try to get those re-rolled and reworked and a little better off. doesn't want to move when I pull so I'm gonna get the uh, get the fender roller on all right I got the other side rolled I'm gonna show you guys what this side looks before I roll it you can kind of see the lip isn't rolled in right there it's kind of rolled up top all right you can see that lip right there hopefully I'm able to roll that up and make it flat because I need to take out this engine mount. Do you guys remember I had the engine mount issue? Well, I ended up using the top mount of the old engine mount on the new one, so I'll show you guys what I'm kind of doing. I still gotta weld it up. So this is this top is from the old engine mount. This is the new one. You see, like right here is the new one, so I'm gonna be welding these two together next, but I'm gonna get the suspension crank down first. It's kind of in the way. So I'm gonna get this. Move down all the way to there. All right, I got the welder set up. I'm gonna weld or tack this plate together onto the old mount or the new mount and then I'm going to take it out and weld it all up and then put it back in and then put the wheels on the car and put it on the ground. Well, let's get that welded. Alright, I got three tacks on so I'm going to remove the engine mount and get it all welded up. There, you can still see the primer, so I got a couple more coats left. But let's go get that engine mount in.
engine mount is in. This one is like stripped and it wouldn't go all the way in, so I'm just gonna leave it. It should be all right. Oh. Um, now I'm gonna get the spacers swapped from the front to the back and then put the wheels on. Alrighty, I got the spacers on and the wheels back on. Uh, I haven't set it down yet, but that's what I'm about to do. It's looking pretty good. I want it to be lower than that, but I don't think I can go. So I think once I drop the back, it might fall in a little bit more, but that's about where she's at. I am sitting on wood and my frame. Like, I'll show you. See that? I can't fit that under. So I guess, like, I'm, I'm really pretty low. Uh, Alrighty, so I got two layers of paint on the back flares. I got the front fenders on and rolled and the wheels on, a suspension adjusted where I'm going to want it. Uh, I still got to kind of adjust the alignment, obviously. Um, and I think I'm going to call it a day for, for today. I think I got a pretty good amount done. I got the engine mount done too. But uh, you guys might have been wondering about my finger. And funny story, so I was here the other day just trying to do a couple small things and it wasn't, I left my camera at home so I didn't record anything. But I was trying to remove my exhaust. So I'll show you. As you can see, I got it off. But I'm trying to release these two bushings and uh, the exhaust is pretty heavy. I mean, it's probably like 40, 50, 40 to 50 pounds. And uh, the exhaust fell right onto my finger. It was the first thing it hit. Didn't hit the ground at all, so it landed on my finger, and and it actually broke broke the tip of my finger. So when the exhaust fell, it broke the tip of my finger. Uh, I didn't go to the hospital or anything right after. It really hurt, but I didn't think anything was broken. And then it started to get a lot of pressure, so I went to the hospital four days after and they weren't able to relieve the pressure unfortunately because of the blood was dried under the nail but they did diagnose that the tip of the finger is completely broken I don't need surgery it's not like out of out of place or anything it's gonna be fine but I gotta keep this on for a late, at least a month he said which kinda sucks so it's really it's really hard to get work done with one with, without a thumb and a thumb's a big part of getting work done like with holding stuff twisting stuff and all that shenanigans but appreciate you guys for sticking around for the video uh, next up and coming is gonna be like probably one more coat of paint on the flares hopefully I'm done with all that paint I'm gonna be needing to paint the fenders at some point just because the wrap might show up differently with a black fender and white it might just look a little different and then hopefully the exhaust adapter parts come in so I'm gonna do some welding on the exhaust and get the exhaust Probably not mocked up quite yet, but getting it started to get the mock up and get the finished process. I'm not sure if I showed you guys what the exhaust I'm going with, but I fabbed up this. It's gonna be some nice blast pipes. I'm gonna show you a comparison between these ones and the other ones. All right, so there's the old exhaust. This is like fence post. I made this work. I actually ordered this three inch dual blast pipes. I'm going to have it sticking out probably like four inches further out than this. So like probably like that much out. Should be pretty nice and it's uh, it's polished so it's going to look really nice but thanks, thanks for watching. Thanks again guys. Uh, I will see you next video. Peace out and have a good day.